Ordinarily, we do reruns on weekends, and March 31st certainly is a weekend day in 2024, falling on a Sunday, as it does. But I aim to talk about each of the states and territories over the coming year, and we have a territory to talk about today, so here we go. You might remember that many U.S. states were territories before they became states, but did you know that the United States still has some territories? Five, as I count, and we'll talk about one of them today. There's a group of islands in the Caribbean known as the Virgin Islands of the United States. Geographically, part of the Virgin Islands archipelago, these are an organized, unincorporated territory of the United States. The main islands of the U.S. Virgin Islands are St. Croix, St. John, and St. Thomas. In addition, there are about 50 other minor islands and cays in the surrounding area, bringing the total land area of the territory to 133.73 square miles or 346.36 square kilometers. The capital of the U.S. Virgin Islands is Charlotte Amalie, named after the Danish queen Charlotte Amalie, who lived from 1650 to 1714. Charlotte Amalie is located on St. Thomas Island. You might wonder why the capital city would be named after a Danish queen, and the answer to that is that the territory used to belong to Denmark. They were known as the Danish West Indies of the Kingdom of Denmark and Norway from 1754 to 1814, and then the Independent Kingdom of Denmark from 1814 to 1917. The United States purchased the islands from Denmark in the Treaty of the Danish West Indies for some $25 million in 1917. That would be over $600 million in 2024 dollars. Now, we mentioned that this is one of the organized, unincorporated territories of the United States, but what does that mean? <laughs> unorganized is a term usually applied to newly acquired land areas like the Louisiana Purchase was before the Orleans Territory and the District of Louisiana were established, for example. The U.S. Virgin Islands were acquired from Denmark on March 31, 1917 as an unorganized territory under the Organic Act of the Virgin Islands. The Virgin Islands remained an unorganized territory until 1954 when Congress passed the revised Organic Act of the Virgin Islands, which repealed and replaced the former Organic Act and allows the U.S. Congress to act as the basis for law in the United States Virgin Islands. Like other organic acts, it functions as a constitution for a territory of the United States so that they can elect a delegate who can go to Congress. These territorial delegates to Congress can participate in debates but not participate in floor votes as territorial delegates. I want to be sure to mention that Virgin Islanders are U.S. citizens. Organized territories are lands that have been acquired by the United States, so they're under federal sovereignty, but are allowed to govern themselves as allowed for under the territorial clause of the Constitution. The islands were named by Christopher Columbus in 1493 after the legend of St. Ursula and the 11,000 virgins, and the name was later shortened to simply the Virgin Islands. Tourism is the Virgin Islands' biggest industry, accounting for about 60% of their gross domestic product. They get about 2.5 million visitors a year, mostly from cruise ships. The U.S. Virgin Islands is the only U.S. jurisdiction that drives on the left. <laughs> so be careful if you're planning to visit and that visit involves driving a car. Also, U.S. citizens don't have to clear customs when arriving from the mainland, but they do have to go through customs when coming from the islands to the mainland. English is the main language spoken in the Virgin Islands, followed by Spanish, then French or French Creole, and then some other languages after that. They're located in the eastern time zone, so the same as the Atlantic coastal states, and do not observe daylight saving time. Where with most of the states, I'm able to find things like the state bird and the state tree and such as that. I was not able to locate anything like that. So hopefully these images that I'm showing you of the beautiful Virgin Islands will suffice for that. 
All righty. That's all I have for you as regards the United States Virgin Island Territory. Thank you so much for watching and have a lovely day.